Welcome back to the Java Zone guys. So first of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your support and appreciation that you've shown in the previous video. The reading was actually more than we expected and it is really a great hit. So in this session, we are going to see how to develop a basic calculator that is not a professional calculator. I mean, a basic, simple calculator. I actually developed a model to show you all. Let me just execute this for you. So I'm giving my input as 12.3 and 12. The sum of two number is 24.3 so this is what we are going to do today and unlike other calculators this calculator only scans two input and displays the output like in the professional calculator you'll be able to give n number of inputs but in this calculator I'll only be able to give two inputs and get one output so let's start First, we have to create a new project and I'm giving the default options. Now I'm giving my project name as CalDemo. So my project is being created now. And the second step is to delete the platform name CalDemo.java have to delete this so I've already I've already demonstrated all these concepts in the previous video if you have any doubts you can go to the previous video and refer to that okay now the third step is to create a JFrame form so go to source packages and select JFrame form and I'm giving my JFrame form name as CalDemo. So now my JFrame form is created. So if you observe the previous model, you will notice that I have three text fields and five buttons and three labels. So first two text field is used to scan user inputs. That is two input values from the user and these labels represent what component it is and finally the five buttons perform specific operations so the first four buttons that is addition subtraction multiplication and division will perform the arithmetic operation and the clear button will clear the text field so now i'm going to go to the palette window and navigate text field and I'm just going to select this one and drop it here and I'm going to do this till text field 3 so there I have three text fields now and next I need three labels so I'm going to navigate to the swing controls located in the palette window and drag three text fields so now I drag the text fields and the labels and finally I have to drag five buttons. The first four buttons will perform the arithmetic operation and the clear button will clear the text field. That is say for example, if you perform an addition operation, the text will remain in the text field itself and you won't be able to clear it. So the clear button is used to clear the text field. Now I've tracked the necessary components and dropped it in the JFrame form. My next step is to clear the data that is the text in the text field. So I'm clearing the text field now and I'm adjusting the size in the way I want.
and now I have to rename my labels as num1, num2 and finally the result and then now I am going to rename all the five buttons so I am naming this as add and I am naming this as subtract sub for multiplication it is mul and for division it is div and finally a clear button so my graphical user interface is developed and now the next step is that you will have to write the code for the specific buttons see for example in the previous video i explained how to write the code for the components so if i press the button add it should perform the arithmetic operation that is addition so in order to write the code i will have to go to the actions performed which is located in the events and now let me open the notepad and show you the code. So this is the code that I will have to write for the buttons. So I am going to copy all this and paste it in this button. So you will notice that all these, all these texts text are highlighted as red which means that I have an error stating that I haven't declared any data types or variables. So in order to declare a variable, I will have to go to the uppermost of the class and write string a comma b comma ants and another data type to scan the decimal. So double C. So I will explain all this while writing the code. So let me explain this code for you now. A is equal to jtext field one dot get text. This means that the first text field value will be stored in the variable A. B is equal to jtext field two dot get text which means the second text field's value will be stored in the variable b. c is equal to double dot value of a. Let me open the notepad and show you this. So this is the function that we used for c. In this function, it generally converts a string to decimal. Every text field generally scans the data as string. So in order to perform an arithmetic operation, you will have to convert the string to the particular value. Say for example, if I give my input as 123.5, initially it will be considered as string. So you won't be able to perform any arithmetic operation with string. So in order to change the value, that is convert the value, you will have to use specific functions for that. In this case, I am using double dot value of the specific variable name. I am using A to scan the first text field. So I will have to write A. So what this will do is that it will convert the string to decimal. So C is equal to double dot value of A plus double dot value of B, which means the specific value will be converted into decimal and the specific operation will be performed and the final output will be stored in C. And is equal to double dot to string. So let me just show you this in the notepad. So you must be wondering what this function does right so in the declaration i actually declared ants 
in strength so my value is stored in c so in order to convert the decimal to string you will have to use the specific function double dot to string then the variable name so as i told you the text field only considers text as value that is string so if you scan or print a text it should be in the form of string so ans is equal to double dot to string c this will convert the specific value to string and then j text field 3 dot set text ans so this will print the output in the final text field that is text field 3 so i am going to copy this code and i am going to paste it for the rest of the three buttons so again i'm selecting the subtract button going to event actions actions performed and i'm pasting this code here and all i have to change is that i will have to change this from addition to subtraction that is c is equal to double dot value of a minus double dot value of b and now i'm going to do this for multiplication and division so i declare the action performs button and now i'm replacing it with asterisk and i'm doing the same thing again going to action performed and now i'm going to paste this code and change the operation to division so we still have one more button left clear the code is quite simple so i'm going to event action action performed in order to clear the text field you will have to write this code j text field 1 dot set text double quotes which means that the text field will display this so in this text field i've displayed nothing so it will automatically clear the text in the text field so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it and now i will have to change the variable name say for example the second text field holds a unique variable name called j text field 2 every text field at every component holds a unique variable name and that is what you will have to use in the source code part to write the code so my source code is finished my design is complete and all i have to do now is to execute So, I'm giving my input as 123.5 and I'm giving my second input as 1, perform division and 123.5 is the result. So if I press the clear button, it clears the text field. So this is all. This is a very simple operation and a very simple GUI, you can all do it. and it is very easy so thank you guys for watching this video please do like the video share the video subscribe the video and do support so i hope you all understood this session so once again thank you bye bye